Hi guys! For this video, I will show you paano gamitin itong electronic operation timbang tool, latest version as of March 17, 2021. Before we proceed with the tool, kailangan muna natin ang following ng mga information na siyang gagamitin natin sa pag-encode sa ating electronic OBT. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin before we start encoding. Siyempre, master list of children with the complete information, address with city or purok, full name of the guardian or mother, full name of the child, birthday, date of weighing and height taking, at syempre yung height and weight. So, yung name ng guardian at child, make sure na tama yung spelling. At saka, kasama na rin yung birthday. So, sa city namin, since we need the data ng electronic OPT para sa barangay management information system namin, dapat pareho talaga yung spelling na nasa BMIS at saka sa OPT para ma-merge yung data at pakita ko, magkita sa BMIS kung ano yung nutritional status ng bata. And the next one is the laptop or computer. Siyempre, since this is an electronic reporting system, we need a computer or laptop. So, open natin yung file natin sa new 2021 EOPT tool. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo, dito sa baba, nandito yung mga different sheets na kasama sa tool natin. First is yung instructions. Then, the nutritional status tool, summary, DNS printout, clean and update, OPT form 1A, OPT form 1B, list of underweight, stunted, list of waste, moderately wasted, list of severely underweight, list of severely stunted, list of severely wasted, at saka data export. So, sa next videos, I will also present to you kung ano yung mga importance and different sheets na to. But first, we'll go on sa instructions na sheet. So, dito sa sheet na to, makikita nyo lahat ng instructions regarding this OPT, how to use it. Pag nakalimutan, check nyo lang dito. So, as I said, this is March 17, 2021 tool. And this EOPT tool for the barangay is from the National Nutrition Council. So, they have been improving this tool for the past years. And for the year 2021, ito yung latest nila. So, browse lang natin sa baba kung ano yung key features ng bagong update na to. Before you begin, my reminder sila how to use the different sheets, how to print the files, at ano yung mga acronyms and abbreviations. So, pinaka-importante if you are using this one for the first time, check yung instructions na sheet. Then, if you are ready na, to encode the information ng mga bata sa barangay natin. This is the page that we need. The nutritional status na sheet. Okay. So, as you can see, di tayo, di pa tayo pwedeng mag-encode kasi blank pa. We need to first fill up the green cells dito sa taas. We start with the year. So, begin here. Example, I will be encoding... An OPT for 2021, so I will type here, 2021. Next, select this tool is for, click the green cell. Click the arrow down, select barangay. If you are using this para sa malalaking purok, you can also select this purok or area or block. Or, but for this one, select barangay. Next, province. Sample, Leyte, Municipality, let's say I am from the city of Baybay, click here, Barangay, arrow down, select kung saan barangay kayo. So, example, I am from Zacarito, click. So, lalabas na yung headings dito. And then we start typing the names and details of the child. So, our 0 to 59 months na natimbang. Make sure you start with the child sequence one. So, this one, nasa number 13 ako. So, I will go to number one. 
first cell and encode the details of the child. Example, Purok Guapa, name of the mother is Chua Marilyn. The child is Chua Reynald Mazo. So, we agreed sa mga BNS namin that we will use caps lock in encoding the Purok name and full name of the mother and child. And also with other details here. So, caps lock para uniform coming lahat. There's no problem with that. And we will also include the middle name of the child kasi kailangan siya sa BMS na may middle name. Belongs to IP group, yes or no? So, when we say IP group, indigenous population. So, if the child belongs to an indigenous population, you type here yes. But if no, type no. You can also select from the choices below or you can just type it. No. Next is ang, name, ang sex ng bata. Okay, so after the sex... Lagay na natin yung date of birth ng bata. So, before we type the date, reminder, please check kung ano yung date format ng computer or laptop ninyo. You will see that one dito sa lower right corner na mga laptop or computer ninyo. This one here. So, sa laptop ko, una yung month, then yung date, tapos yung year. So, dapat, we follow the format of the laptop sa date niya. Like, for my laptop, I will start with the month, then the date, and the year of the birthday. So, as you can see, na-change yung date na nandito. Di na puro numbers. So, which the month changed into a three-letter word. So, this way, macha-check nyo kung tama ba yung na-encode nyo or hindi. Kasi, minsan, nababaliktad. So, possibly, may error yan. Dapat double-check natin. So, tama yung encoded ko. Then, date measured. Okay. mapapansin nyo, automatic na lumalabas yung aging months after yun nalagay yung date measured. Then, after nyo na-encode yung weight and height, lalabas din yung nutritional status nila. So, review lang natin yung mga nutritional status na lumalabas. Weight for age, height for age, at weight for length and height. Meron akong file dito na na-encode ko na yung, kunwari na-encode ko na yung lahat ng bata sa barangay na to. Isang paraan para mas malaki yung makita nyo dito sa mga names ng mabata is, we click this auto-hide ribbon. So, auto-hide ribbon, nasa taas, click this one. Dito lang tayo sa show tabs para may makita pa kayo sa taas. Okay, so, yan. Mas malaki na yung nakikita natin space dito. You can zoom in or zoom out. Zoom in and zoom out. Nandito sa baba. So, ito, marami ng batang na-encode. Kapag yellow, under nourished pa rin yan, Pag hula, severely undernourished. Pag orange, either overweight or obese. So, mas maganda talaga if mas maraming yung green na nakikita natin. Kasi, pag maraming green, meaning mas maraming healthy na mga bata. Pag may ibang color, red and yellow and orange, yung malnutrition is prevalent sa barangay. So, nandyan talaga siya. How to save this one? So, ang problema natin ngayon is paano ito masasave ang file na ito na hindi 
nawawala yung original file, yung blank file na inopen natin kanina. So, you click file. Dito sa gitna, save as. Then, browse. Select nyo dito kung saan nyo siya gustong isave. So, example, sa desktop ko siya isa-save. I will rename this one. Barangay. E O P T 2021. Example 2021 a year to. Then save. So that way, yung first file na inopen yun na blank, masisave pa rin siya as blank. So parang hindi natin siya ginalaw. Tapos, ito na yung bago natin na O P T na siyang isasubmit natin for that year. Pero naman, pag example, may dumating na bata or may bakong ipinanganak, gusto niyong i-add sa IOPT niyo for that year. So, open the file. Yung file na kanina, sinave natin. Example, na-close niyo na for the next day. May additional bata kayo. So, start typing. The name of the child. Complete natin lahat ng data. Okay. This one. So, na-add yun na. So, automatic na na lang yung isa-save. Huwag na i-save us. Click na lang itong disk. Disk dito. Para ma-save agad. Or, you can save using your keyboard keys. Press nyo lang Ctrl and S. Para yun. Automatic na siya masasave. So, every time may inedit kayo dito, don't forget to save para hindi mawala. And that ends our tutorial for today. Next video, I will show you how to use these sheets here, the BNS printout, and clean and update. So, it will help you save time and effort para sa next na OPT or pagkukuha nyo ng height and weight, tinakayo matagalan sa pag-encode ng details ng mga bata. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.